Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see about the network devices used in the networking. So these are the major network devices which are going to use in the networking. So we are frequently using these devices, right? So in that, the first one is repeater. So this repeater is used to regenerate the signal. So the signal will be sending from one system to another system in the network. So uh, after some time, the signal will be uh, becoming a weak or the signal may be corrupted. So in order to avoid those things, so every time the signal will be regenerated. A bit by bit regeneration will be done by using this repeater. Okay. So regenerating the signal to maintain signal strength in order to avoid the corruption of the signal right so uh, before becoming the signal weak or corrupted the signal will be regenerated so that will be done with the help of this repeater and the next one is hub hub so hub will be used to send the data packets to all the connected devices so different devices will be connected to a central unit that is called hub and whatever the data received in this hub that will transfer the packets to all the connected devices okay so use it to transmit data packets to all connected devices So it doesn't have any filtering option. So it doesn't verify anything. Just it will send the data packets which have been received by this hub to all the connected devices. Right? There is no routing, there is no path, or there is no any other filtering options here. Right? So this is hub. And the next one is bridge. This bridge is mainly used to interconnect two different LANs in the same protocol, working on a same protocol. So interconnecting two LANs working on working on same protocol. Okay, same protocol and this will be used in data link layer, data link layer and this is in physical layer, this uh, repeater will be operated in physical layer, right. So a bridge, the name itself indicates, so that will be acting as an interfere, I mean intermediate between two different networks which are operated in the same protocol on same protocol so working on same protocol and the next one switch so switch is similar to our repeater with some additional functionality so what is that additional functionality so switch will uh, send only the correct and good data packets to the ports and whatever the error if the packets contain some error automatically those packets will be ignored by this switch so error checking will be done here okay switch in switch so error checking will be done error checking so what kind of error checking so good data packets good data packets can send to correct port Right and data packets. 
packets data packets with errors will not be forwarded will not be forwarded so those packets will be ignored will not be forwarded right so those packets will be ignored there itself and the next one router so router will collect the data and it will send to the different ports based upon the ip address so based upon the ip address the data will be sent to the destination right so by using the different routing algorithms so all the routing algorithms will be here and the routing will be done here and the best routing path it will select the best routing path and through that routing path the data packets will be sent to the destination so that will be done by the router okay so packets will be routed to destinations in best routing path and here dynamically routing will be decided okay dynamically the routing will be changed from one packet to another packet so it will select the best path and through that best path the routing will be done in this router and this will be operated in network layer network layer this will be operated operated in network layer right so this will be in the physical layer this will be in the data link layer and this will be in the network layer right so repeater hub bridge switch and router now the next one is gateway gateway so the name itself indicate gateway it passes the data from one uh, i mean from one network to another network which are uh, handling in the different protocols which are using the different protocols or a different network models right so here passing data to the networks of different networking models so we are having different networking models uh, just like our uh, osi model and uh, tcp model right so here the passing of data that means interconnection between two different models network models so first it will get the data and that will be interpreted and that will be sent to the destination right so that is the usage of this gateway so these are the basic network devices we will use in the networking so repeaters hub bridge switch and router right so repeater simply it will regenerate the signal and hub will simply transmit the data packets to all the ports or all the connected devices and coming to the bridge based upon the mac address so it will connect i mean the data will be processed and it is nothing but an interconnection between two different lands working in the same protocol right and coming to the switch here the error checking will be done and whatever the packets which, which are having the errors will be ignored here itself and only the good data packet that means without any error the data packets will be transferred to the destination port to the correct way and the coming to the router the packets will be routed to the destination source to destination in the best routing path and here there will be a dynamic routing based upon the different routing algorithms so uh, this is uh, working on network layer right in the network layer and finally the gateway which is the uh, used to interconnect two different uh, network models 
okay so if you want to pass the data from one network model to another network model then we'll go with the gateway so this is also called as protocol converter this is also called as protocol converter because two different protocol protocols will be used and we are communicating the data between two different protocols right protocol converter right so hope you understood this one so these are the basic network devices so used in the networking so let's stop here and uh, hope you got an idea about these network devices what is what and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much